We've got some beautiful Haas avocados that are gonna go right into this boiling water. And now that they've boiled for about 10 seconds, that's gonna help the skin release and preserve that bright green color, also preventing them from turning brown. That's what the hot water does. And now we're gonna make our guacamole. I like to go with red onions, spicy jalapenos, fresh cilantro, hit it with some salt, season it generously, and now a fresh squeeze of lime right in there. And now I like to use a whisk because it preserves some of the chunks. And now we're done mixing our chunky guacamole. We're gonna take our pork belly on to the next step. Pork belly here. I'm gonna season this up with salt. Give it a flip. Season the other side with salt. Then we're gonna rub that salt into the skin. And now, gently lower it into a hot water bath here. We're gonna blanch that. And now I've got some veggies here, some peppers and onions. And we're just gonna go all around that pork belly, sear those up in the pork belly fat. And now I'm gonna season again with our barbecue chili rub. Flip it, let it sear on that other side. Now we're gonna retrieve our pork belly from the plancha. We want all of these veggies right into the pan here. And now we've got apple cider vinegar. This is gonna help tenderize the meat and break down all those collagen and the elastin. Chili spice. That's really, really gonna make this super flavorful. And now we've got tomatoes and thyme. That's gonna add a lot of moisture to this and become the braising liquid. And now we're gonna take it on to our oven. Let's braise this pork belly at 300 degrees until it's fork tender. And now we're gonna take our skin that we boiled for two hours and we're gonna place it in our fridge to let it dehydrate for 24 hours. And then it's gonna look like this. All right, we've got our pork skin here. Now, let me show you what we're gonna do with this braised pork belly. Crush it up a little, lay it right in the center. And I've got cheddar cheese here. A nice layer of that. Some red onion, give it a little pizzazz. And a little bit of spice with some jalapeno. And now we're gonna roll this baby up, egg roll style, but it's not an egg roll, it's a burrito with no tortilla, low carb, keto friendly. Got our burrito rolled up. We're gonna tie it tight with our string here. Cut the excess off. And now we're gonna take this on over to our fryer. Burrito goes right into the hot oil. And now our little ch chips are just gonna fall right in. And these are gonna puff right up, get nice and crispy. Chicharrones with our chicharron burrito. We've got our low carb, keto friendly, chicharron burrito with chicharrones, some pico de gallo. I've got some fresh guacamole that's gonna go right over the top. A few dollops of sour cream right down the middle and some lime wedges to give it some acidity. And there you have it.